My name is Paul Beanie. I'm 31 years old. I live in a small town in rural Georgia, and I'm the number one high score holder in Do My Tasks. Do My Tasks is a game primarily played on the phone where you make a choice of what Lord to serve and he gives you tasks. Do My Task Medieval has to do with medieval style tasks and I serve the Dark Lord Gorgon. You'll be hanging out doing your stuff like a normal person who's doing their tasks. They'll probably just have their phone across the room and when Lord Gorgon summons them uh, they'll get like a notification. I'm the bright wizard. Choose me to give you tasks. I am Lord Gorgon. Choose me to give you tasks. Yeah, so you can either get summoned by the bright wizard and that's the good side of the game. Uh, I am choosing Lord Gorgon or I have chosen Lord Gorgon as my master and I am his servant and I do my tasks for him and I'm the best at it and I take a lot of pride in that. And if anyone wants to challenge my reign, they're going to have to put in the work because I put in the work. You can either serve the Bright Wizard or Lord Gorgon. And out of everyone that plays that game, I'm the number one task accomplisher for Lord Gorgon. So the tasks primarily revolve around normal things like go buy a jar of peanut butter or go do a backflip in the backyard. About 99% of the tasks are just fetch quests where they tell you to go buy a jar of peanut butter, but also sometimes you would get the odd physical activity task or, or go inspect or tamper with this various public utility like a fire hydrant, uh, electrical grid, uh, power station, stuff like that. Every item that I buy, I have to save the receipts. I scan a picture of the receipt and then the, the fine folks at Memorial TV verify that the purchase has been made and they, they divvy out the points that way. It's like an MMORPG where there's a monthly fee and then you have to talk about the overhead or the, the opportunity cost of spending time going to get the, ta uh, get the task done. Uh, if you have to buy something, that's obviously a cost there because sometimes you, you may not need the particular item. Hey, sorry. Um, I noticed that you got some peanuts at the store. Yeah, it's for Lord Gorgon. I have like a very severe allergy. Yeah, so? I don't know how you forgot that, but we can't have these in the house. We gotta go over this fucking bullshit again. It's for Lord Gorgon. We don't have to keep it. We don't have to eat it. We don't have to trigger your bullshit allergy. It's in, we can throw it in the trash. All we gotta do is buy it. So can you fuck off with this bullshit? God fucking damn it. For example, my wife has a debilitating peanut allergy, and so oftentimes a lot of these tasks are buy a jar of peanut butter, go go get a box of nutter butters. So I think it's really caused a, a bit of a wedge when you're the number one champion of Do My Test Medieval. Those, those things really should not and do not matter to me. Yeah, so I think I, I live a pretty normal life outside of Do My Tasks. I just have a basic nine to five. I don't really like to talk about the details of what I do. I'm not allowed to talk about what I do. I'm a pretty normal guy, but what's different about me is that as soon as I clock out, it's all about the game. So I got the nine to five job, but probably around 5.15 to three in the morning is primarily focused on completing tasks for Lord Gorgon. Do My Task Medieval is not the only game that I play, but I think my relationship with other games is more so as training for Do My Task Medieval. I think much like a boxer goes to a boxing gym and trains, I play task-oriented games, other MMORPGs, and I feel like that sharpens my skill set to be the number one champion for Do My Task Medieval. When you're on top of the mountain, there's lots of people that are looking to take you out, so I'm under stress near constantly. And that manifests in physical symptoms like stomach aches, stomach cramps, dry heaving, vomiting. <laughs> I keep a trash can close by because of the vomiting. One of the things that gives me an edge over the other competitors is that I do things in my life to increase my efficiency for task for task doing. I, I combat park. That's one of the things that I do. That's when you orient your car in such a way that you back in so that in a situation, say, they call it combat parking, where if you find yourself in a combat situation, you can leave immediately. You, you don't have to worry about backing up your car or running into someone. I can just get in and go. So when I get a, get a task notification on my phone, I can just leave immediately, and that cuts down a lot of time uh, going to the store. 
a normal task would be just it would show up as a push notification on their phone. I do enable push notifications on my phone. When I get a task notification, I think I think I put on what you can colloquially describe as horse blinders. That's the only thing that I want to do. So I have to make absolutely sure that efficiency and security are paramount for doing these tasks. I, I check my door, I make sure that everything is locked, I make sure that the stove is off and the faucets are not dripping. And so I check, check the door probably around 20 to 25 times every time I leave. I think another thing that separates me from the pack is that I maintain peak physical condition so that I can do my tasks with absolute physical dominance. I, I take several homeopathic vitamin supplementations and I maintain a rigorous training schedule. And uh, it, it, it actually is quite, quite fortuitous if I ever get a physically, like a physical type task where it says go climb a tree or go hop on a fire hydrant or go do some pull-ups or, or shadow box an invisible enemy it, like it, it'll it'll say go shadow box the bright wizard and I'll, I'll i'll visualize that the the bright wizard is in front of me and i'm i'm crushing him for lord gorgon yeah so i have a fiance and it's kind of a tricky situation to talk about because lord gorgon was here for me longer than she was the dark lord comes first and i think obviously there's friction sometimes but i think she understands and i think she supports me in my in my in my dream no matter how many times she asks she doesn't really seem to understand the concept of the game it's it's basically doing tasks but I, I i don't i think she kind of understands it however i don't think that she truly knows how much it means to me but she does help me and i guess that's nice all of this really falls under the umbrella of me more tv's triple play classic suite of games, uh, streaming and services that they provide. Me being a member of the Me More TV family means being on top of my physical game, on top of my mental game, completing tasks with ultimate efficiency, and just to show the fine folks at Me More TV that, that I'm there for them because they have been there for me. Sometimes they ask me what kind of feedback I can give them, and the game is is perfect in my eyes. With that being said, I do wish sometimes uh, that I can get some more rewards, or at least maybe a personalized message from the Dark Lord telling me that I'm I'm doing a good a good job for him. Yeah, so the rewards sometimes will be will be a, a gigantic publisher's clearinghouse check sent to me in the mail, but I haven't really been able to see one yet because they keep saying it gets lost. They ship a check in the mail, and I have to I have to find it. So they, it's like it's like a game within a game. So. You know, I'm a little stressed out because I'm not finding it right now, and it's it's going to be uh, it's, it'll possibly damage my rankings. So I'm, I'm hoping I find it soon. At the end of the day, I'm thankful and grateful and blessed that I can keep playing this game and I can keep playing this game well. So to everyone at Me More TV, I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. What you do means the world to me. I will never stop playing my games. I will never stop serving the Dark Lord. I will kill for Lord Gorgon. I will die for Lord Gorgon. I will take a human life for Lord Gorgon. <laughs>